My name is Roy Marcus. I am a retired academic and I've spent the last 30 years working on systems and design thinking. And what I presented today was a model for South Africa, trying to persuade people that if we look at South Africa from a systems point of view, we can see that we are facing tremendous challenges. However, if we actually start looking at ways in which we can rectify some of the big challenges facing this country, we would have to adopt a systems approach, and that systems approach will allow us to find elegant ways to overcome some of the major, what we call, wicked problems facing this country. So the only way to really do this is to get as many people in the community to be involved in planning the future of this country. We need to consult at every single level. We can't leave it to the politicians to solve the problem. South Africa has the wherewithal, and in fact we have unique people who will be able to lead us out of this complete state of depression. And, um, Dr. Marcus, can you give us a few examples of where South Africa had its uh, back against the wall and they came out? Yes, I think that we need to just look at some wonderful examples about what we call South Africa as being a fourth world country. A country where its back is to the wall and in fact is able to come forward. And I remind ourselves about the story about the 2010 World Cup where in 2008 there were serious discussions to remove the World Cup from South Africa to Australia. Yet, when we faced that crisis, we were able to overcome it. We find ourselves in unique situations where we have developed technologies. For example, the pebble bed modular reactor. So, South Africans have got this inherent will to survive. And I am sure that if we now give people an opportunity to have their say, we will in fact become what I call the second democratic wave, a wonderful country again.